today we're going to be learning the G scale all on the first string. So what we're doing is starting on the open D string. We're going to pluck that with the middle finger. So we're starting on the fifth note of the scale. And I'm just going to pluck this with my middle finger on the right hand. And for the left hand, I'm just going to fret with my middle finger just because that's a good simple way to start. It's zero, two, four, five, seven, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. 19 and 21. So there's all sorts of different ways to play scales. Uh, you can play them single string in closed positions. You can play melodic style. But I really like this approach because you can apply rolls to it uh, very easily. So this first exercise, we're going to be using the Dillard roll, made by Doug Dillard from the band The Dillards. And uh, this roll goes middle on the first string, index on the second, middle on the first, thumb on the fifth, middle on the first, index on the second, middle on the first, and thumb on the fifth. This is a really great role for soloing on the first string. So here's the exercise. Just keep thinking middle index middle thumb when you're playing this role. Middle index middle thumb. So the first half is open. And that's uh, strings one, two, one, that's the whole roll for now. Um, so we're going second fret, fourth, fifth, seven, nine, ten, twelve. 19. And it's really good to just improvise around. So once you go up and down this, the fretboard a couple of times and start to get a handle on where those scale notes are, just play around with it. Like here's an example. Just one example. Um, but it's just a really fun thing to do and it's a great way to improvise. All right, the next roll we're going to use is a forward roll. And this forward roll works really well for the first string. You start by plucking the first string with the middle finger. So the pattern is middle on the first, thumb on the fifth, Index on the second, middle on the first, thumb on the fifth, index second, middle on the first, thumb on the fifth. Then it all starts over. Now this roll is a little bit trickier than the Dillard roll because of the where the notes are landing. There's some syncopation in it. You've got a note on uh, the first beat. And then, and, you have an, a melody note on an and. One and, two and, three and, four and. So a one, an and, and then a four. So it's constantly creating um, and releasing tension, which is an exciting thing to the listener. Um, so the way we're going to do this exercise is a little trickier than the last because we're going to be adding 
uh, three scale notes per measure, per roll. So it's going to sound like this. So you're kind of zipping up the neck pretty quick, but I'm going to explain this really slow. So we're going, uh, starting open on the first string open, one and two and, that's the second fret, first string, fourth fret, and then we're at the fifth, seven, nine, ten, So another good thing, this is another fun thing to improvise with. So just start anywhere. Once you get used to the scale notes, you can just kind of dance around the fretboard and have fun with it. So play around with that very slow. Try all sorts of different patterns. There's no one way to do it. Um, try different fingers. I'm just starting you out with middle because it's just an easy way to get introduced to playing scales on one string. So have fun. <laughs>